Want to get your fair to be this calm during bath time? Today I'm going to share our best tips and tricks on how to bathe your ferret so that they actually enjoy it and they cooperate. Hi, it's Haley from the Modern, the Modern Ferret and today I'm going to teach you how to bathe your ferret. Let's get started. First off, you're gonna need some basic supplies and a place to bathe your ferret. We like to use a bathtub because it contains our ferrets and also if they end up going to the bathroom, it's easy to clean. You can also use your kitchen sink or you can use a smaller tub inside your bathtub. Next up, you need a healthy treat that you can use to motivate and incentivize your ferret to stay still while you're bathing them. Last up, you're going to need towels. We recommend having more than one towel on hand. We like to use the first one to kind of give them a quick rub down as soon as they get out of the bath. You could use your roommate's towel, they're never gonna notice. And then we actually put the remainder a couple of towels in the drained bathtub because they like to run around and flail and dry and all kinds of stuff. So get multiple towels on hand is what I recommend. Next, it's time to start running your bath. Make sure the water temperature is not too hot, not too cold. I would describe how it felt as definitely above lukewarm. It wasn't hot by any means, but it definitely was warmer than a lukewarm temperature. Fill your tub two to three inches full of water. That's really all that you need. What you wanna make sure is that they can comfortably rest their feet on the bottom of the bath while also having their head easily above that water line so they feel very comfortable and in control. Keep in mind the object of bath time is not to make your ferret swim. It's actually to make them feel very comfortable and to have just enough water to lather and wash them. Grab your ferret, it's time for a bath. Place your ferret in the water. Make sure to do it gradually so that they get comfortable with the process. They're probably gonna walk around at this point, maybe drink some of it up. And at this point, you want to slide your arm underneath their body to give them some support and security. And then use that other arm to start lathering them with water and washing their body. If you have a particularly anxious ferret, you can take that salmon oil you have on hand and place a little bit on your upper forearm for them to lick and stay distracted while you wash them. When you're washing near the face, make sure to not put any water directly on their eyes or ears. Instead, lather that water up from their neck up to their chin and face area. And then if you want, massage their actual face with kind of damp hands. Make sure to wash your ferret's paws too because they back up in their litter box, which can cause them to get particularly dirty. Lightly massage your ferret's body. You could get under their arms, on their belly, their butt scrub their tail. Does your ferret enjoy baths like Albert or is he a little bit more anxious like most? Leave a comment in the section below. Now that your ferret's squeaky clean, you can drain your bathtub, pick up your ferret supporting their butt, and you can lightly squeegee their little body to get any excess water off. Grab that first towel you have close to you and give them a light rub down on their back and their belly and their tail. Once your tub is completely drained, you can take those other towels you have on hand, place them inside the bathtub, put your ferret in there, and they can dry themselves off the rest of the way. After bath time, your ferret is going to spend a lot of time grooming and licking themselves. This might cause them to cough, which we found is actually pretty normal in our experience. Just make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Once your ferret has dried themselves off most of the way, you can let them out of the bathroom and explore the rest of the house. Just make sure you don't have anything dirty lying around that's gonna get them gross all over again. They are going to run around the house and go berserk, trying to dry themselves off and war dancing, all kinds of stuff. It's super fun to watch. This is a great time to play with your ferret, chase them around the house and have some fun. So you'll notice we actually don't have any shampoo or soap on our supplies list. Soaps and shampoos can actually strip your ferret's body of its natural oils. And when you do that, their body wants to overproduce these oils, which can actually make them smell even more than they did before the bath. And that's something we want to avoid. In our experience, water and scrubbing is all you need. Contrary to what you might think, bathing a ferret more frequently is not the secret to getting them to smell less. In fact, you should be bathing them less, not more. More baths equals stinkier ferret. Instead, what we recommend to get your ferret to smell less is take a look at their cage. How often do you wash their bedding? How often do you clean their litter box? 
these ideas are gonna help a lot more than over bathing your ferret wood. If you want tips and tricks on how to actually get your ferret to smell less, go ahead and look at the link in the description below. According to Ferrets for Dummies, you shouldn't bathe your ferret any more often than once a month. We personally bathe our ferrets maybe every three to six months. We haven't really found any reason to bathe them any more than that. Some people only bathe them once a year. After all, ferrets actually keep themselves pretty tidy by grooming and they end up staying pretty clean. You may need to do it in between that time span if your ferret steps in something dirty or gets in contact with you know, poop or pee or something like that. The temperature readout was 103 degrees Fahrenheit. We bathed Albert for this video, which is right within their normal body temperature range. A ferret's natural body temperature is between 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice that that's actually warmer than a human's natural body temperature. And that means that when you're drawing that bath for your ferret, what might seem like a gentle, warm, lukewarm to you might actually feel kind of cold to your ferret and make the bath unpleasant for them. So keep that in mind when you're picking that optimum temperature. Number one, I'll reiterate, make sure that the bathtub water height is short and comfortable, two to three inches. Make sure the temperature is very comfortable. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is, if you can, make sure your ferret poops and pees before you bathe them. Otherwise, you might end up with a situation like this. Oh, 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 he's pooping and peeing. Oh, don't step in it. Oh, oh. We need to drain the whole bath and start again. It, yeah. It's a whole thing. If your ferret doesn't seem to want to poop right when you want them to, for some reason what works for Albert is we dip his little feet in the water and then let him run around. And there's something about his feet being wet that makes him want to poop. I don't know what it is, but it works. You can try that. If you have a more anxious ferret like Moose, you may opt to put a smaller tub inside your bathtub so that when he feels uncomfortable being surrounded by the water, he can actually jump out, run around the bathtub, and feel a lot more secure and confident with bath time. If you wanna give your ferret an extra special treatment, go ahead, grab your roommate's toothbrush to give them a nice little rub on the head. A couple things that have helped us is we make sure that our ferret's nails are trimmed before we give them a bath because they kind of like move around and if they're scratching up your arm, you get these gnarly scratches. Your ferrets are easier to deal with if you've recently trimmed their nails. And if you're wondering the correct way to trim your ferret's nails in a way that makes it a lot easier, you can watch our nail trimming video. We also have a link in the description below for that, so check it out. When your ferret's wet, this is a great opportunity to spot any skin issues and take note of any that you see. If you're wondering why your ferret's fur turns yellow, we have a link in the description below to answer some of your questions. So before you let your ferret run wild in the bathroom, it's a good idea to pick up different things you don't want them to knock into or have access to or chew. We like to take our plunger, put it on top of the toilet, that little scrubby brush thing, put it on top of the toilet. Any cleaning supplies they should have access to, we remove to a higher place they can't get to. That's just in case when you take your ferret out of the bath and they're starting to run berserk trying to dry themselves off, they don't ram into something they shouldn't get dirty or hurt themselves. If you're looking for a more in-depth video on how to ferret-proof your bathroom, go ahead and look in our description below for an exact link to that video. We hope this video answered all your questions about how to bathe your ferret. And if this was weaselly the best thing you've seen all day, make sure to like and subscribe. Hi, it's Haley from The Modern <laughs> Okay, do it again. If I do a good take, I gotta go more. Wherever Dougie. Come on, little one. Ebert makes bath time fun.